my rights are not up for discussion or for argument, let alone a vote. So the, the claim that Congress is in a position somehow to sit down and adjudicate whether it's acceptable for me to criticize them no, no, is obscene. I don't want correct. those men to sit there and feel that it's up to them to discuss so whether you... I have rights or whether I don't have rights. They do not have that right. The universities is where the the toxic poison just, starts. Universities train all those other yeah, outlets correct. to be shock troops for the progressive militia. Right. So once uh, people who are red pill start turning their guns, I'm not speaking literally, on the universities, that's when the jig is up for them. As humorless, self-righteous, pompous and obnoxious as corporate journalists are, they fare better in all these metrics than college professors. If you see how they um, speak on Twitter, like Lawrence Tribe is a great example. Right. Professor, we know this guy's gonna be brilliant. I mean, mm -hmm. no matter what his politics are, this guy's no, no mm -hmm. dummy. But when you look how he tweets, it's like everyone's boomer grandma. There's no sophistication there. There's it's just pure emotionalism. And when you see how these people are exposed, once that curtain's pulled back, it's like, wait a minute, I'm deferring to this guy, he's a buffoon. He mm -hmm. might be very bright in terms of the law, but in terms of his political analysis, there's no one home. Mm -hmm. And that is why I'm so hopeful and optimistic about the future of this country. First of all, there's alternatives. Why am I wasting four years of my life throwing money down the drain when I can start a business online? But second, my daughter, who's this beautiful kid who loves me, we have fun at Thanksgiving, goes off to Columbia, comes home as a swamp walrus who's unrecognizable. Why am I doing this to my family? Right. And turning Americans against the university system, not against education, specific against the university system, is really going to be the next step and they're not going to see it coming and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. One of the things I propose, just one, one quick thing yeah, quickly, yeah. is to seize all university endowments and distribute that money as reparations because that turns two big elements of the left against each other and that is where the mayhem and where I kind of thrive. <laughs>